Ma, you ready? It is now Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We are on a family biking trip out in Central Park as per usual. I think we started to do this like every Sunday now, which is fine by me. It's like a little pre-dinner and sometimes post-dinner workout. But as always, I'll show you some views along the way. And uh, yeah, so this is actually the running track around the reservoir here. It like spans the Upper East Side and the Upper West Side. Um, and it's a huge, huge reservoir in the middle of Central Park, which a lot of people don't realize how big this park actually is. So I think the whole trail, I mean, I'm, I'm throwing out a number here because I used to run this back in the day. But I think it was like 1.6 miles or something all the way around this, which is pretty long. And I may start actually running here again, but the problem is it's been too hot lately. Can't have to be at work early. And I prefer to bike instead. Somehow I beat the crew, now I'm waiting on them, sitting on a ledge. So slow. And it is Monday morning. I cannot express to you how hot out it is this morning. It's like 6.45 and it's already high 80s. And let's just say I'm sweating already on the way to work. And I have to wear my bag on one shoulder because my back will be completely soaked if I wear it normally. So we are experiencing a nice heat wave in New York City right now. So that's fun. It is one thing I dislike about New York, sweating on the way to work, but what can you do? It's what you signed up for. So anyways, going to work today. I'm in one of the big boy rooms today. Room five, that's where we do all the big cases. So I'll start off today with two prostatic artery embolizations. And if you don't know what prostatic artery embolizations are or prostate artery embolizations, I'll teach you something right now. Prostatic artery embolization is usually used to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia, also known as BPH, and it commonly affects the older male population. Now I'm not going to bore you with all the details of prostatic artery embolization, but I do want to show you a little bit about the procedure itself. So right here we have the prostate, which is a gland that sits under the bladder or right along the bladder neck. And as you can see, as it expands, like it does in the older male population, it can compress this bladder outflow or the bladder neck, causing difficulty with urination, starting and stopping. I'm sure we've all seen this kind of thing with older men. So what we do in our procedure is we actually either access the radial artery in the wrist or groin and snake a catheter all the way down to the blood supply to the prostate. So for instance, the prosthetic artery, we basically get our catheter into this area and inject super small particles around like 200 microns in size and block off the blood flow to the prostate. We also do this on the other side as well. So basically the goal of this procedure is to inject these small particles and block all these smaller blood vessels so that the prostate will basically lose blood supply and shrink down in size. Now, one thing I will say for a trainee like myself, learning the anatomy is very challenging in these cases. You have to do it over and over again to correctly identify the prostatic artery because identifying the artery is the hardest part because the variation is very vast amongst the population. So for instance, this is an angiogram of the internal iliac artery right here. And we have the posterior division of the internal iliac artery or hypogastric artery and the anterior division right here. We have the superior gluteal artery here. We have the superior vesicle trunk or the superior vesicle artery. And we have the prostatic artery arising from the superior vesicle artery right here. So as you can see, the anatomy is very challenging. So injecting this is a lot to take in when you're first starting out, but 
you know, you learn. The best thing about PAE or prosthetic artery embolization is that it provides an effective treatment option to relieve symptoms caused by prosthetic enlargement and bladder outlet obstruction. It is a minimally invasive option that has very similar outcomes when compared to other surgical treatments. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, now we are on the right side of the street for this Ferrari. Bibby the Great, I guess, owns it. I'll have to check him out on Instagram. Anyways, you guys said this was a 488 because of the side vents right there. It's a pretty dope car, not gonna lie. All right, so I haven't even said anything about my day today, unfortunately. And that's because I've been in the main room all week and let's just say it's a little on the busy side. And what I mean by that is that, what I mean by that is we do a ton of high-end cases or really complicated cases. And for that reason, some of these cases usually take two to three hours a piece. And I had no time to do anything else, but those cases. So on one hand, it's really good because obviously I wanna be doing these high-end cases and really complicated procedures because that's how you get really good at interventional radiology. And that's why I signed up for this fellowship. So let's just say IR is a little different from diagnostic radiology because today I got here about 6.45 in the morning and now I'm leaving at 9.30 p.m. at night. So today was a pretty long day. The last time I ate anything was at 12 p.m. today because I had a nice little break between cases. So it's been about nine and a half hours since I've had anything in my body. So I always toy with the idea if I should eat when I get home because it's like almost 10 o'clock at night or should I just go to bed? Who knows what I'm gonna decide, but either way, I'll check in with you guys in the morning. All right, so I'm currently back at work, as you can see right now. Um, last night was a little crazy. As you know, as you saw, I got home super late. Actually woke up super early this morning because I had a whole bunch of stuff to do. Um, like I said, I'm in one of the main rooms today and I run all the, the higher end cases. But with those higher end cases comes a higher responsibility as you would imagine. So I have to go in and round on all of my patients that I do these higher end procedures on because a lot of them are sicker and a lot of them require more attention like the patient I did last night is currently in the surgical ICU. And I had to go check on them to make sure that they are okay this morning. They were, so that's good, but I have to keep an eye on them and you know, be a part of the clinical team as opposed to just doing my procedure and dropping them off because you know they're my patients too. So I have to take ownership and take responsibility for it. So I rounded on them this morning, wrote some notes. Then I had to pull over all the images from yesterday um, to go over, we do like board rounds in the morning, which we go over all the interesting cases from the previous day and, you know, kind of go over things, how we did the procedures with my co-fellows and also all of the IR residents as well. You know, learn some stuff, teach some things, all that stuff. And then I went into a big tips this morning, just finished, it's about noon. And yeah, so far I have nothing else scheduled in my room, which is great. So I'm just going to catch up on some dictations and probably have to do an add-on case in the next hour or so, I'd imagine. That's how, kind of how things go around here. Even though there's nothing on schedule, there's always something going on in the hospital and we'll always have something to do at some point. All right, check in shortly. We're going to be giving away one free pair of big scrubs, just like the ones I have on, but not necessarily this color. They are going to send it directly to you if you are the lucky winner. Doesn't matter what size you are, as long as you live in the United States of America, you could win a free pair of scrubs. But that's not it, because I'm also giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to the lucky subscriber as well. Furthermore, I'm giving away some AirPods, because why not? So, free pair of big scrubs, $100 Amazon gift card, 
and also some AirPods. You'll get it straight to your door if you win this giveaway. The only thing you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and also follow WearFigs on Instagram, at WearFigs. Those are the only three requirements of this giveaway, and you can win it all. All right, everybody, that officially concludes this New York City vlog. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video.